technology company Honor showcased an experimental eye tracking AI function that enables users to remotely open and move their card just by looking at their phone screen. Here we've got a simple fun project that we've created to look at the AI eye tracking technology on the phone and use that to control this car remotely. So the scenario that we've set up is to have the car start remotely, drive forwards as if it was being driven out of a parking space, stop and select reverse and then be put back into the car parking space or using your eye gaze on the phone. The tool is already available in China and the company is working to integrate it commercially overseas as the company globally launched its new Matic 6 Pro smartphone. So the real use for this technology is really to enable another way for users to interact with the phone. So if you didn't want to touch the screen or for any reason, let's say you've got dirty hands or whatever, then by looking at the screen, you can then interact with the phone in a new way. The eye tracking AI function of the smartphone was used to control a car to start, drive, reverse and stop during a demonstration. So the, so the phone itself is communicating with the vehicle control systems via a Wi-Fi link and then the onboard computers on the vehicle are then doing the, se the sequence of functions in order to execute the motions that we require. Tech and telecom companies are releasing new products and features ahead of the annual Mobile World Congress in Barcelona, which is set to kick off today, hoping the buzz around generative AI will boost business prospects. Makers of smartphones hope the excitement around AI will boost a sluggish market for smartphones, though many experts say generative AI may raise legal or ethical concerns.